Yes, sir. So I am going to describe about the role of a data scientist. So yes. as we see the role of a data scientist, uh, we we can say that it all starts with uh, data acquisition. So first uh, and the foremost important task in a project is acquire the required data sets so that we can start on our research work, we can start on our modeling and then we can go for product and all. So we have to accumulate data, we have to get data. So data acquisition has uh, got to play a very important role in the beginning of the project. So when we do data acquisitions, we ask a number of questions from the different, different stakeholders, right? Okay. So as we ask different, different questions from uh, various stakeholders, so for example, we are collecting uh, uh, data uh, on uh, 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 education system okay, sir. right so in the education okay. system we can uh, uh, we can ask data about students so those students information we have to get so we will contact uh, uh, university and uh, from the university we will contact some um, academic people uh, like principal or someone who has uh, uh, reserves of the data uh, of all the students of the uh, university so we can have a call with them and we can ask him for sharing the student details like uh, how many students are there in the colleges uh, which students are in which uh, uh, courses in which domains and all those information we need to get from the colleges so who can provide this data only some administrative people or the principal. So we will contact those people and uh, we will ask them to share uh, data either as a flat file or they can share their system information, some, uh, uh, some credentials. So with the help of those credentials, we will be able to archive some information. So that way we will acquire some data. So even in this process we the, uh, this is not a hassle free it, lots of discussion goes on then we get the access to all these credentials and then only we are able to archive all this information for our research purpose sometimes some data are very easily available like it's freely available on web so from web we can uh, download it or we can uh, um, we can crawl it or we can get it anyway from the web we can archive it anyway and then some data is available as uh, uh, log log files so sometimes log files are generated so we request for the log files for the past uh, uh, one month and we get all the log files and from the log files we uh, apply some um, algorithms and uh, some kind of programming and we archive all the information in tabular format later and we then accomplish all the data. So data can come from web, can come from files, can come from database, can come from logs. So different, different sources of data are, and from that we all collect the data in flat file, database format, uh, Excel, and all different format. Finally, we try to do a data wrangling task and even before that we do some cleaning onto the data. We map the data properly so that uh, we get a logical uh, relationship between different types of variables in the data. Suppose student data that we have got from database and some student data that we have got as flat file, we need to see that they are all related and uh, the name of students which is in the database same names are appearing even in the uh, flat file data and they are uh, easily mappable so that we can map them and then so lots of uh, uh, hard core hard work is going on in this process and once we accomplish all this task we go for data wrangling in the data wrangling we not only clean the data but also we streamline the data from the um, 
suppose we have got few variables like student name student age student roll number and all these things from that if we want to make an additional attribute for the student which is not existing so suppose an additional attribute can be whether a student is interested in data science course or not okay this can be either yes or no. so this is a new attribute that i want to introduce in the student record so whether okay. the student is interested in data science course or not so that new attribute we can induce into that uh, table and that's okay. how we can make uh, different different columns categories and all that and that comes under the uh, preview of data wrangling where we do lots of uh, uh, simply data wrangling means data sorting na Uh, not data not just sorting means uh, we have to play around the data we have to make new variables we have to uh, do boundary value not boundary value analysis but uh, we have to uh, outliers may be there in the data so we have to remove outliers so all these things we do in data wrangling okay so lots of uh, mathematically and uh, Uh, categorically we have to change categorical values into numerical value numerical value into uh, uh, normal value so all that things we do in data wrangling yes sir so that is done here then we move it to the mathematical statistical model so we apply machine learning algorithms onto the uh, refined data so whatever is final refined data is there that we apply machine learning algorithm onto that we apply the best of best machine learning algorithm that is applicable to the current data sets and once this machine learning uh, algorithm is applied to the data set we move it to the mathematical or statistical model and that particular model is now a very distinguished model which is going to give us the result for the remaining things which which is even untested that is also going to be tested under this mathematical and statistical model that is finally made and this model is implemented in all our products data reports and data visualization and data scientist has to play a major role in all these things asking right questions to the stakeholders data acquisitions data wrangling machine learning applying machine learning and building the model so all these things are critical to the job of data scientist but after that once the model is made and all we have to just apply it and we have to put it into the system which is being already developed by some developers and testers and everybody so in that system uh, data scientist is going to coordinate with them so that it can be rightly placed into the system so data visualization data report and data products all these things are coming because of the cumulative effort of all data scientists developers application developers testers devops developers and everybody okay right. so yeah. everybody is working together on all these things but the role of data scientist is very much focused on all this area and ultimately leading to this data visualization data reports and data products yes. now a data scientist should be able to ask the right question so as a thinking of the skills of a data scientist so i have told data scientist need to have too many things like he should be a domain expert also not very a very uh, top level domain expert but he should be knowing good of a domain if he is working in the finance domain he can be a cfa he cannot be a cfa but still he should have good knowledge of finance he can be mba finance also so that way so a data scientist should be a uh, domain expert also and uh, with the help of uh, and apart from that he should have good knowledge of programming and technology like uh, uh, python expert he can be and then he can be something like uh, uh, a mathematics expert with the statistics and all these things it should be very much clear to him otherwise he will not be a good data scientist without the mathematics a person cannot become a good data scientist that uh, you should remember so if you are dreaming of becoming a data scientist 
even now sharpen your mathematical skills okay okay sir hmm. so these are and uh, you can see here they have already given work as a team player and all those things so that's fine 